it is Thursday, 13th of August, and um, I've just woken up. That's better. A little bit more fill light. Fill. Fill light. Yeah. I'm in a really good mood today. I'm having one of those awesome wake-up mornings. I have salmon eggs in a wrap, like a wrap thing. I've just made some like organic eggs. So good. Today is going to be perfect because of my breakfast. Ground coffee. And it just hit me this morning how much better these working hours are for me. My previous four on, four off, not to go on about it for too long because I know it's very boring. You know, like literally getting up at five o'clock in the morning or half five to do sandwiches and, you know, just go through the... I don't know how people do it. I don't know how you sort of like day-to-day -day workers do that early, early, early shift and like go for 12 hours because I did it for six months and it nearly killed me. Oh, that coffee. Things are good. Like... Waking up early in the morning, waking up on my time zone in the morning is pretty awesome. I woke up this morning really excited though, because it's Mr. Robot episode 8. I, I didn't vlog yesterday because, I don't know why actually, because I, I did go to a few places yesterday. I went to Birmingham Airport yesterday, I dropped Aggie off. Agnieszka. What else was I going to tell you? Yeah, so yesterday I didn't film, I didn't film, I didn't get my video blogging camera, I didn't put the GoPro in the car, I didn't do any of that. The car needs a service, the car's not running particularly good. Get all the paperwork for the for the doctors yesterday so I can get my new inhalers and stuff because I need to get an inhaler like ASAP because without it, if I'm wheezy at night, then I'm not going to go into work the next day, which I don't want to do because I need the money. Found my notebook. I don't know if I'd mentioned this on a vlog, but I'd lost my orange notebook. I've been thinking about redesigning the whole bed area in the caravan because it's a bit of a mess and it's constantly moving and just not right. So I've been thinking about reconstructing it with sort of pallets and getting some pallets and building it up but yesterday i saw a complete bed for like 150 quid like a double bed bunk bed thing and i've been thinking that actually the height of it you could raise it up in here uh, raise it up from the floor so obviously you don't get the cold from the floor but also a higher than the windows or as high as the window and then ella has a bunk bed above not that she would probably sleep in that she'd probably want to sleep with me and I could mount all kinds of stuff underneath it and stuff, which would be awesome for a geek like me. But also the, the second level higher up, I think if I did it, then the wraparound top area where you've got all the, the, the bits on the top, you could, you'd be at sort of eye level at that. So you can put all your bits and pieces around the edge, which would be cool. And I worked it out that actually 150 quid for this big bed thing would be cheaper than actually buying wood and doing it myself. So... I'm going to have to cut it down and resize everything and scale everything up. But I'm I'm realizing that winter's on its way. And I remember last year, January and February were quite cold. And yes, it's 150 quid, but I kind of feel like having a decent bed layout and a, a decent mattress and everything would be conducive to just better sleeping in the van. And, you know, people, there's nothing wrong with the van, so there's no point in buying a newer van. Uh, I've become quite attached to this van. I shouldn't really but it because it's very materialistic to sort of have things but um and i'm trying to get away from having too much stuff i want to be quite light but over the last year i've just filled it full of stuff but uh, i like the idea of having a decent bed so i'm looking at that and bandwidth wise on my 4g bit of an update on that i'm now down to 20 gig left i've got 11 days of this 100 gigabit 100 gigabytes um uh, two month deal I'm, I'm, at the end of the first month it's only going to cost me a tenner to update it to get another 100 gigabit, uh, 100 gigabytes, but I've also got another EE SIM, so I can uh, 100 gigabit, 100 gigabytes, and as long as I put that in before the end of August, which is about 15 days away, then I'll be cool, so then I'll have another I'll have three months rather than two months, I guess. So that's it, really. Um, that's the update I wanted to give you. It's like six minutes. Um, work today, not massive hours, but um, I'm loving my shifts at the minute. This this fits me so much better. Eating breakfast, have my coffee, watch Mr. Robot, and then do me 750 words, and then I'm in work in two hours' time, so I can chill. <laughs> coming on the first light of the fifth day. At dawn, look to the east, just past that Starbucks. <laughs>